you need to know this formula for high school and college math. It's a to the n minus b to the n is a minus b times a to the n minus 1 plus a to the n minus 2b plus dot a dot plus a b to the n minus 2 plus b to the n minus 1. So in each case, the exponents are adding up to n minus 1 and all the coefficients are 1 in the second parentheses. And this is crucial because it's very important often to be able to factorize a difference of nth powers. So in this video, we're going to explain why this formula is true, first of all, which is a computation. And then we're going to explain how you actually come up with it and practice with the fundamental concept of polynomial long division. So I'm going to teach you that even if you don't know what it is. It's really cool, important, and it will serve you well for whatever math you do. So let's first dive into explaining why this is true. So we're going to use the distributive law. So we're going to write a times the second parentheses minus b times the second parentheses. So a times the second parentheses is just going to be, it's going to be a to the n um, plus a to the n minus 1b. And then you're going to keep going. So you're going to go plus dot 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 plus a times a b to the n minus 2, which is going to be a squared b to the n minus 2 plus a b to the n minus 1. Okay, that's going to be a times the second parentheses. And then b times the second parentheses, we're going to subtract that off. So b times a to the n minus 1. So we're going to subtract b times a to the n minus 1 dot dot dot. And we're going to then go on all the way up to b times a to the n minus 2b up to a times b to the n minus 2. So if we subtract b times that, we're going to get a times b to the n minus 1. Subtract a times b to the n minus 1 uh, minus b to the n. And now what you see is if you actually work out the terms, you're going to get some cancellation. The a, to, a, a to the n minus 1b and b a to the n minus 1 are cancelling. And similarly, this is going to cancel. a b to the n minus 1 minus a b to the n minus 1 is cancelling. And we're just going to end up with a to the n minus b to the n. Okay, so I've done a video on the difference of cubes formula. I recommend checking that out. You know, if you haven't seen that before, um, that's kind of a lower level version of this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go along with polynomial long division, which I explained in a pretty simple way in that case, because it was like a difference of cubes formula. But here we're going to go a level higher of sophistication, but don't worry, it'll all be very accessible. So the basic idea behind understanding this formula is the first step is that you know that there is an A minus B factor. Okay, that's number one. The reason you know that there's an a minus b factor, we're going to forget the second parentheses. So I'm just going to delete this here. We know that a to the n minus b to the n has to be a minus b times something because if this a to the n minus b to the n, if a is b, this is equal to 0. right? If a is equal to b, you get a to the n minus a to the n, which is 0. So you know that a minus b has to be a factor. It's just like with polynomials. You know, If you know if you have a quadratic, if you have a factor, if something is a solution to a quadratic, you can write out a linear factor. So for example, um, even with the difference of squares formula, you already see x squared minus 4, which is x squared minus 2 squared, is x minus 2 times x plus 2. So you already know because 2 is a solution, you know x minus 2 is a, is a root, or x minus 2 is a factor, and then you can work out the other factor x plus 2. You, know, you can sort of see minus 2 is a solution, but you could also work it out by polynomial long division. And in this case, we're going to have to do that because it's not easy to see what the other roots are. I mean, in fact, it's not going to be a bunch of linear factors. It's going to be an n minus 1 degree polynomial. So let's use polynomial long division to work that out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide a minus b into a, a to the n minus b to the n, and we'll see a very beautiful pattern emerging when you try to do this. Okay, so let's start off with that. And this is going to actually prove as well that a minus b is really a factor. So we try to divide a minus b into a to the n minus b to the n. Let's just focus on the a first of all. Okay, so let's just see what do we have to multiply by a or to a to get the a to the n. Okay, we want to cancel off. Just like with long division, you want to cancel off terms one by one. So each time you multiply with something, you then take the remainder and you then try to divide into the remainder, then take the remainder and keep going. So we'll see this step by step. So what you want to do is what does a, what times a is a to the n? It's a to the n minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to write a to the n minus 1 up here. And then the question is what, do we, what happens when you multiply the a to the n minus 1 times a? We get a to the n. Okay, that's the reason we chose the a to the n minus 1 in the first place. But then a to the n minus 1 times minus b is going to be minus a to the n minus 1b. Okay, so that, that term, of course, is not matching up with b to the n. So we now have to take the difference and then again divide into that difference. Okay, just like with long division. So we're going to take the difference of minus b to the n minus of minus a to the n minus 1b, which is going to be a to the n minus 1b um, minus b to the n. Okay, that's what we're going to get. Now we still have got the negative b to the n, but we've now got a new term, okay, instead of a to the n. And we're going to do the same process again. We're going to see what do we have to multiply a by to get this. So a times a to the n minus 2b is what we need. Okay, so I'm going to write that out in red at the top. So it's going to be 
plus a to the n minus 2b, that if you multiply with a, you're going to get the a to the n minus 1b, okay? Um, that's how we chose the a to the n minus 2b. Um, and then, of course, you multiply that with minus b, you're going to get minus a to the n minus 2b squared, okay? So same deal. We now subtract the, these two. Okay, this is not matching up. If it were matching up, that would be our answer, right? That's just div long division. But because these two aren't matching up, we take the difference, that's the remainder, and then we try to divide into the remainder. So here we then, um, and this is a very important you know, thing if you haven't seen polynomial long division, especially with multivariables. You know, it gives you good practice. Then we're going to say, okay, um, you take the difference, so then you're going to get this minus or minus this, so it's going to be a to the n minus 2b squared minus b to the n. Now, you can sort of see if you keep going with this, your minus b to the n is always going to be constant, um, but you're still going to, um, you're going to drop this power of a, okay? Each time the power of a and the power of b are going to, this is going to drop, this is going to increase, okay? So here we got a to the n minus 2b and we ended up with this remainder. So now you can sort of guess if we keep on going, what's our last step going to be, okay? So this is the process. We're then going to be dividing a minus b into something Okay, the last term that we're going to end up with, or the second to last term we're going to end up with before zero is going to be a b to the n mi minus one, um, and it's going to be minus b to the n. Okay, so we're going to get that. And now, once you've got this, what was our reminder? Once we go all the way up to there, what is our remainder going to be? Well, it was going to be a to the n minus two b corresponded to a to the n minus two b squared. So once you've got that, it's going to correspond to a times b to the n minus one. Right, uh, a, a times b to the n minus two, my apologies. A, a times b to the n minus two. And now, if you now get up to that point, you now want to see what do we have to multiply this to get into that. So we're again going to see what do we have to multiply a to get into a times b to the n minus one. So it's gonna be just b to the n minus one, right? So we're gonna add on a b to the n minus one. Um, and now, once we add on a b to the n minus one, we, we have to now take the remainder. So b to the n minus one times a is just going to be a times b to the n minus one. And b to the n minus one times minus b is going to be minus b to the n. And now we see that actually we match up perfectly. We have no more remainders. Um, so now we just get zero. So therefore our factor a, a minus b was, ha we had to multiply it with a to the n minus one plus a to the n minus two b plus dot 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 plus a b to the n minus two plus b to the n minus one. So that's the proof of the difference of nth power's formula. That's the reasoning of how you come up with it, okay? So this is how someone would come up with it. I mean, you can do guesswork. Essentially, polynomial long division is a substitute for that. It's a formal process that you can apply to any problem, but you could also try to play around and experiment and guess it by patterns. Um, that's presumably what the first person has done. So check out my video on the difference of cubes formula. I've got a video on the binomial theorem as Isaac Newton thought about it, geometrically and algebraically. Lots of math on my channel. Before you click away, I'm creating elite infinite accessible math education at all levels. Everything is going to be covered. I'm creating a library of math. I'm a research mathematician. I've got pre-calculus, calculus, even before pre-calculus math that can be understood by anyone. College math, high school math to prepare students for exams, proof-based math, fun math, math tricks, everything. I'm trying to do it all on my channel. So if you want to be constantly notified of new math content and elevate yourself to higher levels of thinking by constantly being exposed to all different sorts of math, be sure to subscribe and support my mission of changing lives through math education. I want this to be available to everyone, no matter what high school, college they're in or what books they can access or anything else. I just want them to be able to understand, learn and love math. And this is my goal. And by subscribing, liking, you know, everything you're doing is really supporting my vision and also helps you keep you notified of new content. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. I hope I was able to support you with this video and I'm super excited to see you in the next video. Please take care and I'll see you soon.